Let's look at this paper one, which was written in 2019, uh, Combined Science. Um, let's look at number one. Which nutrient provides energy? Uh, this is carbohydrate, of course. Okay. They're saying, what is the function of the... What is the function of the gallbladder? The key word here is the function. So the gallbladder does bile. Uh, urine is stored inside the bladder. Uh, bile is produced by the... Uh, is, it, is it the liver? And urea is actually produced by the kidneys. So you want to eliminate these answers, yeah. Right. We're going to three. The photograph shows a condition due to malnutrition. And the question is, what is the name of the condition? This condition here, this person is obese. This person is obese. So the condition is called obesity. So you want to choose A there. Number four, uh, the saying Benedict solution was added to a food sample. The mixture was heated. Uh, a brick red color was observed. Uh, which food component was present? So for the food component present here, so this one is out. Uh, do we test starch with Benedict solution? It's an obvious no as well. Um, do we test protein with Benedict solution? No, we use buret. Uh, but glucose, yes. We use Benedict solution glucose. This is a reducing sugars. So you want to choose D there. Then number five, during anaerobic respiration, oxygen is used. No, oxygen is used in aerobic respiration. Alcohol is produced, yes. This might be an answer. Now they're saying lactic acid is produced in plant cells. No. And then uh, a large amount of energy is produced. No, it's just a small amount of energy that is produced. So we want to take B here. The diagram shows the structure of an alveolus. So you have the diagram. Maybe just study it a little bit. Uh, the capillary wall. Uh, we have a moist surface. And then we have an arrow directing uh straight into these are red blood cells typically you have oxygen uh going in and um carbon dioxide moving out so which gas moves in the direction of the arrow um carbon dioxide so we want oxygen here oxygen it diffuses into the system going to the red blood cells so we have concentrated soul solution here uh the cell walls and we have an arrow moving out there so water is supposed to be moving out of this cell the cell is losing some water there so we want to choose c here as our answer here number eight the diagram shows the internal section of a blood vessel so we have t um so what is the function of T? To increase blood flow? No. To push blood towards the heart. To, to prevent a backflow of blood? Yes, this uh, should be the correct answer there. Number nine, the diagram shows the human circulatory system. Which blood vessel A, B, C or D has blood under highest pressure? So you want to analyze the diagram here. <clears throat> Um, maybe let's let's start with blood from the rest of the body here. This blood doesn't need to be under high pressure because it is coming from the body. So it enters the heart and then it goes out to the lungs. Now it is not pumped with that much pressure when it goes to the lungs because it is going. Uh, it, it's, it's just traveling a very short distance to the lungs there. And then now it uh, moves from the lungs with no pressure as well. We eliminate a will also eliminate d and then it moves to the heart uh, back to the heart and then it is pumped now this time it is pumped such that it reaches all parts of the body so you expect c uh here this region c to be under highest the highest uh pressure so we select c and then number 10 a woman starts her menstrual flow on the 22nd of april when is she expected to ovulate okay when is she expected to ovulate so 
Uh, she's going to ovulate on the on the fourteenth day. So you want to add fourteen days from the second of gives you sixteen April here. That should be the answer there.